be resolved from whichever audio recordings they analyzed. Yes, the long lost art form of audio forensics, which is highly valuable, which is how we were able to deduce multiple problems in the conspiracy against JFK. Here is Chris Martinson, uh, Martinson explaining um, at least a piece of this. Again, it's a 30 minute uh, and deep dive analysis. I'm going to show you just a few key moments here of his analysis. Watch. Here's just the first three shots from that video. I haven't done anything. No audit. I haven't done any enhancements. This is a, both both of these video uh, audio pieces are exactly pulled straight from the video itself. Here's one, two, and three to start. Okay, listen to that again. And one more time. Okay, now let's listen to the next string. Ooh. We just have an absolutely different sound between the first three. There's no echo, it's much further away, it's more muffled, it's it's just not in the same place at all. But these next ones, very different sound, totally different weapons. Okay. Totally different weapons, totally different location, and the echo is completely different because the echo reverberating off of buildings, while the other is way far away, in our estimation, 488 yards away which is not where Tom, Trump, uh, Thomas Crooks was laying. So now here is the audio analysis or his discussion of this from video uh, from the second video and how he says this is clearly two shooters. And remember, we already have the analysis from audio experts elsewhere saying there's a difference between weapon A and weapon B. And I can show you that the, the rounds fired from weapon B were also aimed at the stage. OK, so this is important. Two weapons, one fires a string of three, Another fires a string of five or six, depending on how we count, and off they go. And they were also out hitting the crowd and headed towards Trump. Okay? This is important because now we do not have a lone gunman anymore. Okay? So, and very important to know that there, these were not like uh, Secret Service snipers. These were being fired at the stage. The head of the Secret Service, Kimberly Cheadle, still has a job today, which is stunning. And today she spent the morning dodging questions on Capitol Hill in front of Congress, and it didn't go well. So expect to find. If I knew, I wouldn't have to look for it. He never had a chance. Must have had a timer or something. Maybe. Freeze frame. Reverse. Frame speed one per second. Freeze. Spectral filters. Stop. Look at that. It was detonated from a remote position by some kind of ray. But who? Shift view 60 degrees left. Close in. Superman. Superman's the traitor. Where are you going? I have to go back. Warn them. You have to do more than that. 